All right, what's up, guys? As you see here, I have my um, my ball python. I'm actually not feeling too good. This is the same night I did the other video. It's just gonna be a little video about stuck shed and ball python care in general. But stuck shed's coming first. All right, so we hear a lot of uh, little things about stuck shed, and actually, I do not have a snake right now with stuck shed. I just got done taking care of her shed today. She uh, she shed perfectly fine today, and um. She's actually looking really nice, as you can see. Oh, she's getting a little bit heated, I think. She doesn't like being out right now. But anyway, if you do have a snake with stuck shed, don't freak out. That's the first step. You don't want to freak out. You don't want to get all um, uh, nervous about it. It's not really that big of a deal, honestly. All you're going to want to do, first of all, is leave the snake alone until you get everything ready to get rid of the stuck shed. The first thing you're going to need is you need to bend like this. Some uh, snake keepers keep their snakes in these. They um, uh, they keep their babies in that size, and then they keep their adults in bigger bins like that. And she's coming up to say out of the camera. But uh, anyway, oh, don't you freak out now. You're going to need a bin like this. Now what you're going to do, and I'm not going to do it because I actually took care of her stuck shed like this today. Um, you're gonna, what you're going to want to do is you're going to take them and put them in some warm water not hot but warm water warm to the touch if you put them in too hot of water it can hurt them and potentially kill them and if you put them in too cold of water it can shock them like give them a shock and kill them and they will have a lot of stress and they'll die um so you just want to keep warm water don't make it you know, like i said too cold too hot and leave them in there depending on how bad the shed is, if it's just a little bit, 10 minutes to a half an hour, if it's just like patches. If it's a bad stuck shed, an hour to an hour and a half, it's not going to hurt them. They'll just sit in there, and they'll float, they're not going to drown themselves, they're not stupid animals. They'll just sit in there, and they will absorb the water. They're not going to kill themselves, they're not stupid, they know how to keep their head above the water. They might put their head underneath the water, and honestly, if they have retained eye caps, or stuck shit on their back, that's a good thing. They're gonna, it's gonna get moisture underneath those scales and li help lift those scales off so you can just, they can just peel off easy. But anyway, back to the stuck shed. You're gonna leave them in there for about, mine, I left her in there for about 45 minutes. She had some stuck shed. It wasn't really stuck. It was just coming off of her belly and not anywhere else in her body. So I put her in there and um, I had to leave to go get food, feeder mice for her. So I left her in there for a little while, and then I had to leave, so I took her out, and I put her in her cage. Went and got my feeder mice, and I came back, and sh her shed was completely off. As a matter of fact... I have her shed that she got off of her own right here. As you can see... She got this off on her own, and she got this piece off on her own. Her head came off by herself. The only piece that I had to take care of at the end, when I soaked her again, was right underneath her head here. So I left her in there for about 10, 15 more minutes. And what you're going to do, if you have retained eye caps, I'll go over this first. What you're going to do is you're going to take the Q-tip and you're going to go over their eye, right? Very gently over the, over the base of their eye. And you're going to rub that retained eye cap off. If they have scales that are just not coming off and you soaked them, take that Q-tip and rub it along the scales away towards the tail, away from the head towards the tail, and those scales come off perfectly fine. Easy. Next time I have stuck shed, I'll show you guys. But like I was saying, you know, stuck shed's not a really big deal. All you gotta do is get it off like that. But anyway, so after you've gotten the shed off, what you're going to want to do is go over their body one more time. And there's a couple spots where you're going to want to look for shed that actually got stuck even after you've soaked them. It's right here by their butt. If you can, if I can get her tail. Their butt is right there. Right there. That's where their butt is. And sometimes scales will get stuck right around in the butt area. And just check there. Hers looks fine. And on their belly sometimes. And right behind their head. She doesn't like being touched behind her head unless she's being held, so, and even then she doesn't like it. So yeah, there's that. 
that's um that's how you get rid of stuck shit. I hope you guys liked this video, and um, I just wanted to like give you guys some knowledge on what it it's like and how it's you know it's really easy. There's not there's a lot of people that freak out when they have a little problem like this with their snake, but I'll put her away. Get her in her cage. She wants to stay out, but I can't let her. It's about time for her to go to bed. Well, sorry guys. And take her hide and put it back. Wow, oh, this is retarded. There we go. I mean slow, I'm sorry. Shouldn't use that language. But anyway, I don't want to offend anybody. And close the cage up. That's how you take care of stuck shut. All you need is a bin like this. It's really easy to get. You can get them at Walmart. And I have holes in this one because we kept a snake into this. Well, the snake that I I got it. It was kept in this when I got it. And it, that's fine. You know, she wasn't being abused or anything. They don't really need big cage to move around because they don't move around that much. But there she is. She's happy as can be. She's going in her hide right now. You know, she's doing good. Mello is right here. And he's doing good. He's right there. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. You know, I just want to give you guys a couple tips. If you guys have any questions about anything with snakes, you know, I'm not a master. And if I, if you guys do have questions, I'll look it up and find it out for you. So you guys don't have to do any of the work. I'll look it up and I'll find out how to do whatever you have questions on. And I'll do it. I'll do a video on it and I'll show you guys how to do it. But, um, there you go. It's really easy. It's not hard. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. You guys know what to do. Thanks.